brought to you by Moultrie Mobile. The end of turkey season in many states starts another exciting period. Fawns hitting the ground. Our Moultrie cameras are shooting us pictures of does with fawns moving around a little bit, and it's so exciting to see. Now, you're not going to get a lot of pictures of fawns right now, most likely. Fawns are born, they're five or six pounds, or itty bitty. They're covered with camo, so when the doe hides them, it's less easy for predators to find them. Those spotted patterns, that's making camouflage. And then when the fawn gets big enough to outrun a lot of predators, spots go away. There's always a purpose for everything in nature. But what you're seeing right now is newborn fawns being moved just a bit to a better hiding place than the birth spot. Even if a doe has twins, she'll likely put one fawn here and another fawn in another area. She'll return to those fawns a couple of times a day and let them nurse and then leave them alone. She'll stay within a few hundred yards, but the fawns look like they're abandoned. That's why if you find a fawn in a, you know, a food plot or a weedy area or even in the timber, don't assume the doe's abandoned it. The best chance for that fawn to survive is for you to back out and leave it alone. You know, this is the start of our next fawn crop, our next deer crop. Just think what those fawns will be a few years from now. Use those motries to get out there and see what's happening where you hunt.